Omar. 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 Hey, I don't want to go outside. All right, let's play this game. Yeah, I'm not coming. No, you guys aren't both getting me to do it. I have to go. I have to go. You want to come back inside? <laughs> no, guys. Did you hear about this elephant that walked into the hotel in Sri Lanka? Abner, get back over here. You guys are jerks. You left your ball. That's the whole reason that you even came over here. Forgetful of He's Yeah, he's so forgetful, and then he's such an obsessed fuck. Ooh. You're such a hype beast dog. A little hype beast doggy. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Get in there. Someone behind me. Hurry up. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Take this fucking camera in your fucking face. I'm oh, back. <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, uh, I was like, yo, his beard looks nice, like blonde or some shit. I was like, did he dye his beard? And no, it's got. Oh, god damn it. I don't know what Spark <laughs> is. Uh, oh, man. What a great way to start. Great way to start it off. Where are we going? Well, first off, we gotta see if I have a fucking studio. Oh, I do. Perfect. We're going to the studio. You have a project. Oh. We both have a I'm project. A painting? No. Oh. We're building. Oh. What am I building? An easel. Oh, that's easy. Oh, easy. You put the easy in easel. You put the easy in easel. This pimp next to us with his rings in the cowboy oh, hat. This dude is <laughs> I drew this thing I want to paint. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck to really get it on the canvas like the easiest way. Yeah. I'm gonna have a mental, like a mental war with myself on whether or not certain things are gonna work or not. So I have to go in there and test this theory real quick. Hopefully it works. Probably the easiest of the theories. All the other ones are gonna be fucking a pain in the dick. Oh gosh. Just took the beard off. I don't know why. I regret it immediately. I got home and then I was like, yo, this thing is just all over the place. Ray's like, you should just get it trimmed up. I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll just take it off. She thinks I look ridiculous. Yeah, well. Take the buzzer. I'm just like, rrr, rrr, and it's done. But as you're doing it, are you getting sadder and sadder? Like? I'm just like, well, I guess that's the end of this one. I, I never know what the fuck. I mean, where? what else was I going to do? Just grow it forever? Why no trim? I don't know. I don't want it cleaned up. I just want it natural or gone. But it's funny, too, because at the bar the last night, these two, like, 50-year-old Polish women came up, and they go, oh, oh, beard boy. Oh, very sexy beard boy. Can we talk? And they just start grabbing my beard, and I'm like, well, you know, some people like the beard, you see? You shave your head. Let's go do that for the vlog. No way. Let's go shave your head today and then go get Brand's reaction. No, Brand's reaction, it will not be good. She told it what? will not be good. She ain't gonna do nothing. When we get back from Chicago, it'll be back for the most part. God, I don't know if I want a bald head in Chicago. It is freezing know, it's up gonna there, be dude. so fucking cold. Look at them in their little matching ninja shirts. Yeah. I don't know what they, it's not. Speaking of ninja, he's got his own skin in Fortnite. Fortnite, you know, it's not looked upon as like the coolest. easel is done beautifully assembled with only one mistake in the process that's it back on the road again oh, look at that slut <laughs> yeah licking the lollipop yeah i never noticed that the one whole alley's got crazy shit in it this whole area such an industrial alcoholic food area and art. Bet you can score some serious drugs here. Oh yeah, some look my man, sir. chomping, trying to come get me. Not today, sir. No. Nope. Not today, meter made now. I know what you look like. Yeah, you look like a me. bitch. You ain't got no city official shit on. No. Nope. You ain't no city dude. No, nope. look at this guy with the tucked in socks. Nice look. tucked in socks. Are you trying to be dirtier? Everything's got murals. Cause they're like, otherwise this whole area would look like a bomb hit. So go ahead, paint your art. Well, you have to have permission still. So. Yeah, I mean, there's no Trump artists in the whole art community. Like, you don't you don't see a guy out there just doing fucking Trump, Trump Everyone's portraits. Everyone's mocking Trump. You should be the first guy to really paint him, you know. Yeah, I wish. Legally. If I could paint good, dude, I would do it.
Just paint an ill fucking Donald Trump portrait in oil with a fucking like ridiculous eagle on his shoulder. Yeah. Just look appearing at the entire fucking nation <laughs> in fucking judgment. It would be amazing, especially in that building, that art community building, <laughs> that off leash area. It's basically mm -hmm. a fight ring. Mm -hmm. for, it used to be where dogs. you buy heroin. Like, you go watch Drugs Inc. for Denver. Yeah. They show that spot. That's our old apartment with Diddy right there. Damn. Moments before, moments before the podcast. You're watching yesterday's vlog so you don't get roasted. Yeah, it's 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna, not gonna do too good on that one. Dirty Aaron has left the building to go home and most likely play Fortnite. We just finished the podcast. A steak, grill it real quick. Yesterday, last night, I got really tired. Uh, I went to bed, well, we had planned on going snowboarding for, we have a huge shipment coming in today. Uh, and then, so I went to bed early, and I woke up, and I texted from Ern saying he was not gonna go snowboarding. Probably because his face would freeze. It's 6.30 now, just been kind of fucking around. Talking shit about Greta Thunberg, Thornburg, whatever her name is. <sighs> fucking people. Instead of wasting the morning not doing shit, I'm gonna go down to the studio and work. But first, we'll put y'all on to a breakfast spot that people don't really talk about. Everybody's always looking for the fancy, fanciest of the fancy. Enchanted breakfast utopia. I don't know where that exists, but this place is raw, but it's good. The food's not raw. It's just old school, man. Butcher block. There's a couple of, you're not fucking with butcher block, you're fucking up. Everybody comes here, they always wanna go to snooze, and jelly, butcher block, bro. Butcher Block, Pete's Kitchen, Devil's Food, top three. But Devil's Food's even a little too fancy sometimes. A little hipster. Butcher Block is where it's at. So breakfast burritos. I'm not getting a breakfast burrito. I'm on like eight days of no sugar. So we're gonna keep that up, at least till Chicago. Motherfuckers, it's right there. What else is in here, girl? All right, all looking good to me. Damn, there's a bunch of shit in here. What's this? Beef skirt steak. Oh, that's a flank right there, boy. Flank steak. Ground beef. Set. I made tacos, and my shells are made of cheese. The dildo has arrived. Dun, 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 the nucleus. It's just the worst name. The names of all this stuff is so bad. Oh look, he already lost the ball under the, under the one surface we didn't protect. Look, we made bumpers. <laughs> the owner puts like his sticker and with his picture on it. <laughs> Whoa, that's it? Does it tell me it looks like a robot dick? It looks like Meta God's dick. It's crazy. It does look like Meta God's dick. I'm now tattooing with Mecha Godzilla's dick. How's that feel? I mean, it's the evolution, I guess. Oh, I'm more chill. This is the new shit. <laughs> it's fucking picture on everything. Get out of here. This is the battery. Look, this is more important than my crop. We just, I guess, pop that in. That's it. Oh, it's wild. Tattoo. I don't know how you operate it. I'm assuming you gotta charge these. That's nuts. Oh, oh look. It's already on. Crazy. This is gonna be fucking crazy. Meta God dick tats. <laughs> Coming up. Whoa! Damn, dog. Omar. Chill. So they just snap it in, I guess. Oh. Is that it? That's really it? That's it. No way. Oh. Hmm. I don't know, maybe I should read the instructions. I guess that's it, though. You just... Snap it in like that. Glad I was up at 5 a.m. for you. I thought I got to you early. <laughs> no. Oh man, it's a, it's a lot. It's, mm. it's a big one. I think you're looking at a fisherman's wharf. I do. Yeah. 
Yeah, the hair. Brandy's been really weird the last two days, and I'm like, what the fuck is the problem? If you got a problem, just tell me. And she said, I really just have trouble looking at your face. She said, imagine <laughs> if I just reconstructed my whole face one day, and you just woke up, and I just had a whole new face on. Yeah, people said I was mean to you on the podcast. Because I'm roasting your face. I'm like, you guys don't get it. Like, <laughs> that's the fun of it. That's the fun like, of it. Yeah. Like, like, I'm roasting my face. Yeah. Like, I find that funny. I'm not like, I don't go home and cry like, yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah. I knew that when I <laughs> I did this, the reactions I would get. Yeah, well. Like I told Brandy, like I said. You have a lot of white knights out there for you, buddy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, like I said to Brandy, I'm like, the internet is just eating this up. And she goes, what do you expect? Yeah. She goes, you know this is going to yeah, happen. Yeah. You look like you a look fucking, a fucking creep. You look like the Keebler elf. Like yeah. the lead <laughs> legion of Keebler elves. Dude, you know his name is Ernie. Well, there you go. You're, <laughs> you've literally, you've literally taken form. Your final form is here. Oh, shit. I would be lying if I didn't say. Since the camera went off, I've been one of the most frustrated human beings on the planet. Now it's trivial, I'm sure it's not important, but I'm frustrated, all right? So, and I've been trying not to put this company on blast. Like, I really, really make sure I'm not sure. Oh, here comes Abner. Abner, stop. Abner! Motherfucker. Jesus. All right, but I'm annoyed. Uh, and I've been trying not to put this company on blast, but they sent me a box with this dude's face on it and their name's all over it, so I can't really avoid it or else I just would not be doing what I do. And this is a, a kind of a pinnacle moment in my tattoo career. So I uh, basically am pretty disappointed so far in the dildo tattoo machine world. So essentially I spent all day yesterday trying to figure this out, which is not a hard thing to figure out. I've tattooed for almost 20 years now, tinkered, with more tattoo machines than I care to admit. I've built machines, taken machines apart, done it all. I've had machines shut down on me in the middle of tattoo, I had to figure out what's going on, and I spent hours yesterday trying to figure out what the fuck could possibly be going on with this fucking thing. So it's super easy. I mean, this is a grip, just so anyone who thinks I don't understand how it works, this is a grip that comes off. It's supposed to come off, you can change the stroke of the needle, yada, yada, yada. So this is the motor. They actually sell bigger grips that I had to order i paid another hundred dollars for a grip bigger than this so it fits my fucking gorilla sized hands so there's a motor in there and this cartridge sits in here and this rotates and pushes the needle forward these are the cartridges from a very very reputable cartridge brand the cartridges are supposed to be universal i don't think that i've ever really heard of anyone having a cartridge that doesn't fit these fit they, they lock in place just fine that's how it's supposed to go i'm supposed to be able to take this which is a nucleus battery pack put it right on the back of this and i should be able to hit start start and that should go but what's probably already happened by now is it shut off look at that it won't work take the cartridge out now let's use another battery pack no cartridge right works. If you want to do this without any needle, we're totally good to go. One thing I figured out fucking with it is if I try to insert the cart while it's running, I can kind of finagle it and turn it and sometimes it'll stay on, but at that time you can tell it won't. It won't take the cartridge. So, and I don't want to fucking blow the thing up by just keep doing the shit. So yeah, that's cool. This is the second one. The first one is being returned to the sender, but the sender, UPS, I think, took it to the wrong place. I don't really know. So I'm waiting on a refund for the first one that didn't ship, and they tried to ship me at $1,200. This one I got by their own discount at $800, and it doesn't it doesn't work. Or at least it doesn't work with these cartridges, which is somebody's in the wrong here. Either I'm stupid as fuck, which is possible. This machine doesn't work, and something's not right with it. These cartridges aren't compatible with this machine, which means these got this cartridge company which is black law fucked up i highly doubt just don't see that happening so uh now hard life rotaries wants me to take my time and money to send this back to them and they would like me to include these cartridges so they can test it and tell me what's going on before they send me out a machine that i can use right now my faith in this entire system is pretty fucking not existent. I'm bummed because I'm excited about the possibilities of this. With this much headache and this much tinkering, I might as well use a regular fucking tattoo machine. So far, I'm not sold on it and I'm a little frustrated. I don't 
want to fucking talk shit about hard life because I don't know these guys and I know what it's like running a business and I know sometimes things get fucked up but so far like with the customer service aspect I'm really not I'm really not being extra taken care of and but the regular tattoo machine builder I can pick up the phone I can usually just text them and be like yeah I want a machine da -da 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 -da. even a rotary I can get it I can get one like quickly from a homie this is, is taking a more like corporate standpoint on the whole thing if I'm slipping through the cracks on this shit I'm a little pissed off you know what I mean because I'm a veteran tattooer and I'm feeling entitled to my equipment working when people especially when their tagline is that they're gonna change tattooing forever I'm interested to try this cartridge shit but so far so far <laughs> Abner! Could be these right here. These uh, power packs could be bad, but I, I don't know. But I have to send all this back now. Wait, hope that it all gets back to me before I go to Chicago and um, then trust that the shit is going to work when I'm in Chicago. I'm not really feeling confident that I'm just going to be packing these machines, So, which is the whole point of buying this setup. Yeah, that's a real life honest, I mean, that's what's going on. So, I've honestly just got this to deal with. We're shipping the drop. We've uh, we actually just got these teddy bear keychains in, which are not part of the drop yet but friends and family got a lookbook today the drop from forever like we have just been so caught up because of so caught up still because of christmas the holidays literally running a business where it requires people to be on point is uh almost impossible around the holidays and we're still catching up but as of today everything from the 65 roses drop for adam and the lookbook from before christmas which closed on January 1st, will all be shipping to day, today. It's out, it's gone, it's on the way. Small bear logo, everything, it's all gone, everything all gone so that's pretty much it it's early today i got a flank steak up in there marinating son marinate this flank steak for a few hours and i'm gonna edit i'm gonna go cook some fucking pork chops i'm gonna marinate right here in my computer lab all right see y'all in the next day or so probably a podcast tomorrow all right Peace.